Good morning, good morning, good morning friends. Good morning mga tangay. Welcome back to our channel. But if you're new here, I'm Janice. I'm a retired OFW from Dubai. And together with my husband, we've been here in the Philippines. We've been back in the Philippines for three years now since 2020. Now we're back in the Philippines, but I'll be sharing with you some of the things that um, we do you know, when we are managing our money. Um, meron kaming mga style na nasa Dubai na iniba na namin. This is as promised during our last video. Our last video, I'll just link it here. Um, it's where we talked about why or the reasons or the common mistakes why OFW businesses fail and what to do in order to avoid those things. And one of the things that I mentioned in that video is nagahalo-halo kasi ang pera na pang negosyo at pera na pang personal. So ngayon, Sa video na ito, we will be talking about how we manage our finances. Of course, you will have your own way of managing your money. Um, this is just our way of, of managing ours. And um, kung sa tingin mo hindi siya effective for you, that's okay. But kung may mapupulot ka ng aral, please comment down below kung ano man yun. If you're an OFW watching this, please consider subscribing or and liking this video because this channel exists for you. Our dream or goal for this channel is to be able to influence at least one OFW to maximize their time abroad so that they can retire on their own terms in the Philippines. We want you to succeed. We want you to be able to get the most out of your time wherever you are overseas and give it your best shot no para pag start niyo mo ulit pag retire mo sa overseas work talagang you'll be set for life so without further ado let's begin so i am a nerd when it comes to managing our finances i am the nerd in the family sa aming mag-asawa ako talaga yung nagta-track at nagse-set aside ng lahat ng aming nagpo-portion no ng aming uh, income and napaka-blessed ko kasi yung asawa ko ay talagang he trusts me when it comes to this. I always write down our income. We combine our income and then we appropriate it accordingly. So we have a budget notebook. Ito po yung budget notebook na namin na nasa Philippines na. Yung aking budget notebook nung nasa Dubai, nasa taas, hindi ko nakuha. But it's just a normal notebook where we write all our income. Uh, lahat ng income, lahat ng outgoing. So lahat ng pumapasok at saka lahat ng lumalabas. So mas maganda yun kasi diba sabi nila. A budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went at the end of your working years no gusto mo malaman saan napunta lahat ng kinita mo so lahat po nakasulat mas maganda yung cash kumpara sa digital spending kasi that way mas mararamdaman ko yung pagalis ng pera sa aking kamay dahil iba pa rin talaga kapag ka nagbabayad ka through GCash through your debit card kasi halos walang pain point halos walang friction walang ano wala kang maramdaman no kasi digital lang pero kung binigay mo talaga yung bayad mo dun sa cashier mas mararamdaman mo siya. And there are studies that support that. Now, we practice the cash envelope system. That's our... That's something that we've done for years. And this is my cash envelope. I've had this since 2010. I think, if not 2008 or something, when I was still working for Probe with Mom Cheche Lazaro. So I got this in San Juan. And this is basically my cash envelope for our daily needs. So ito yung aming pang personal. Now, I have a wallet. At ang wallet ko po, doon ko nilalagay yung aking allowance. Or kung meron kaming baon, andun, ito po yung aking wallet. Napakaliit. Andito yung aking debit cards, IDs. I don't have a credit card. So andito lahat ng aking yeah, and key card ng bahay and all that. So my husband and I practice giving allowances to each other from the budget. So iba yung aming pera, pocket money for personal spending, iba rin yung household money. So this is for my personal and this is for our household. Now, my color com color coded lang po siya kasi ayoko yung ano ba, yung parang accordion type kasi masyado siyang bulky. But this is what we've used for more than a decade na. So kung 2010 2010, ngayon ay 2023, 13 years na, and this has helped us tremendously. Makikita nyo, medyo sira-sira na siya. Yan. Uh, pero okay pa, kaya niya pa. So, ano ba siya? Green is for God. Everything for the Lord is here, sa green. Pink is for panggastos sa bahay, or for everyday. This is for our food. Yan. Uh, basically, food and groceries, pink. V is for bills. No, just kidding. Bills. Bills and gas. So, dyan nakalagay. And utilities. Um, and then, O is for others. So, in case na meron kaming help fund and other things, dito nakalagay. At hindi lang po enough na nakalagay siya. Ang matatandaan ko. But I'm very forgetful. So, I put names or ano ba, uh, categories on each. Yung pera, naka-paper clip at saka may sulat pa. Ano yan? Yan. Okay. So, ano yan? Blue fund. We also have our 
Reserve for Magnus, yung truck na binabayaran namin. Bumili kami ng truck by God's grace and we are paying it monthly. So, that it's for that and for our gas money. So, ganito rin ginagawa namin nung OFW pa kami sa Dubai. May pangalan ng bawal isa kasi ayokong magamit yung pera para dito sa bawa, para sa renta nagamit natin for something else. And when you're handling a business also, if you're an OFW and meron ko yung manager sa Philippines, mas maganda rin na gano'n, na nakaset aside na yung pera na para sa renta, pera na para sa sahod, pera sa whatever, kung ano yung mga gagastos na nakalista at nakasulat na siya. So, yun. This is for our sinking funds. Ang personal po, everyday, nasa bag ko yan, pang gastos namin for the month. Our sinking funds ay, yan yung iniipon natin, no? Sinking funds, if you're not familiar, Ito po yung ating mga big payments and big purchases for the year. So, for example, yung iyong uh, real property tax, mayor's permit, uh, renewal, ano ba, insurance, and all those things. I put them in separate envelopes. Pagta ko lang. Kasi medyo sira-sira na siya. Noon, noon ko pa ito ginagawa. Yung mga envelopes sa Dubai, sira na kasi. So, ito yung sa aming apartment ruling fund. Ito yung aming envelope sa Gcash. Kasi... Yung isa naming negosyo, yung Gcash, pumapasok siya sa personal account ko. So, ang gagawin ko kapag ka, magka-cash out ako, let's say, yung Gcash ko, galing yan siya sa isang negosyo. Magbabayad ako ng materialis for our construction business. So, ang gagawin ko, ipapambayad ko yung Gcash ko, and then yung pera for that, from the construction business, dito ko nilalagay. So, ibig sabihin, nakapag-cash out ako ng libre. Yun. So, yan. And then, we have our reserve funds. So, meron kaming tatlong reserve funds kasi I follow the baby steps of Dave Ramsey. First is a starter emergency fund of $1,000. The second is to pay off all your debt. And then, the third baby step is to set aside three to six months of a full emergency fund. So, bawat envelope I reserve one. Ibig sabihin, isang one na reserve. Reserve 2, Reserve 3. So, this is Reserve 3. Reserve 1 is in the bank. So, naandun na siya kay Maya. I'll talk about that later. So, kung mapapansin nyo, flat na yung envelope. Halos wala na siyang laman. Ang ginawa ko po, so, ayan yung ating sinking fund, mayor's permit, Reserve Fund 2. Na, naganda punit-punit na siya. Uh, YouTube savings. Yan. So, thank you very much po sa mga hindi nagsiskip ng ads. You're helping us a lot. Um, yung pinambili ko po ng camera, na pang shoot ay galing sa ating YouTube earnings. Hindi naman malaki ano, parang lit nga, pero mas maganda na ang $100 kumpara sa zero, di ba? And that's not our motivation anyway. Pero thank you, thank you, thank you po sa lahat ng uh, nanonood at um, hindi nagsiskip ng ads. But, but kung wala kayo masyadong time at uh, syempre yung haba ng ads, okay lang din. Oh, no problem. Anyway, karamihan sa mga funds dito, iniipon ko na January pa lang. And gagamitin namin, halimbawa, yung real property tax, iipunin ko na siya from January. Tapos gagamitin siya November pa. So, ang haba ng panahon na nakalagay lang siya sa envelope. In Dubai, we used to do that. Talagang naka-envelope lang talaga siya. But here, sabi ko, ang laki-laki nung, ang taas ng inflation. So, yung value ng pera mo nasasayang lang at nakatago lang siya sa, sa envelope. Ah, by the way, I forgot to say, may tracking system din pala. So, bawat envelope, nakasulat din dyan kung ano yung pumapasok at ano yung lumalabas. So, may may tracking system. So, if you're doing this, good. If not, it's best to do it din. Ako kasi cash lang talaga. Kung ginagawa nyo siya sa Excel, okay lang din. No problem. Do what works for you. Okay. So, bakit wala ng laman? Kunti na lang yung may laman, yung kailangan talaga may cash, no? Nilipad ko po yung aming sinking funds sa aming digital bank. No, yung digital banks offer a good interest no so mayroong 4% mayroong 6% so sayang naman let's say nag-iipon ka for your real property tax ang pinag-iipunan namin for our real property tax ay 20 something thousand agad 20 something thousand and then yung mayor's permit 15,000 and then yung baby fund 30,000 help fund and all those things, no? Insurance ng sasakyan namin, pinag-iipunan ko na rin agad. 17,000. So, throughout the year, naka-spread yan. Imagine mo kung lahat yun naan dito lang. So, for so many years, nakalagay lang siya sa envelope and nasasayang lang siya. So, ang ginawa ko po ngayon, pinasa ko siya sa, this is not sponsored, uh, you can choose whatever banks that you like. So, pinasa ko siya sa Maya. Uh, doon, meron din namang goals, no? So, meron kang specific goals na, let's say, for six months, 
itatabi mo doon and your money will grow by 6%. No? So, sabi ko sayang rin naman yung kikitain niya. So, I think meron akong pinasok doon na from August to now, kumita na siya ng more than, kumita na siya ng four, four figures na in just a matter of six months. So, sayang yung kinikita. So, ipasok natin sa digital banks ang ating uh, sinking funds at ating reserve funds. Yung reserve funds, mas maganda kung meron kang cash, pero kung meron namang ATM, uh, okay lang din, naka-ATM na lang siya para madali mo siyang makuha. And since maganda na rin yung interest na binibigay nila, yung reserve funds natin or emergency funds natin, ipasok na lang natin. Maraming digital banks na pwedeng pagpilian, marami rin yung iba-iba um, rin yung kanilang interest rate, ano? So, you can choose which digital bank you want to use for your sinking fund and for your reserve funds. That way, hindi lang natutulog yung pera nyo sa mga envelopes. Next, since may mga negosyo kami and if ever man na meron kayong negosyo, um, this is for our business, no? I am the HR and admin personnel, ano ba? HR and admin manager of our construction business. So, I'm in charge of the payroll. So, ito po ang aming petty cash uh, so, hiwalay siya sa aming daily. Um, hiwalay din ang, ang petty cash ng husband ko. Uh, yung kanya naman black. Black wallet, no? So, yung mga pangbili niya ng materyales andito or sa debit card, um, magkahiwalay. Hiwa, hiwalay yung bank account na pang negosyo. Hiwalay din yung bank account na pang personal namin. So, ito, purely for salary lang kasi andito yung mga barya. Kung makikita nyo yan, makapal lang siya dahil sa barya. And for the bank accounts, uh, we have, I think, four, four bank accounts. Um, one is for the construction business. Another one is for our savings. Another one is for my personal savings. And then, yung husband ko, yung personal niya rin na ginagamit. Pero minsan ginagamit namin sa negosyo. And then, the other one is just for our apartment business for the government transactions. So, how are you managing your money? How do you manage your finances? Let us know in the comment section below. Of course, hindi naman namin kayo na nakawan ano. Um, yung mga best practices lang, you can share your best practices. Maybe we can learn from each other and cheer each other on when it comes to managing our resources. We thank the Lord for His provision na God has been so good to us. Talagang uh, we owe everything to him. Yun po. So I hope that you learned something from this video. If you did, please click the like button and share this with friends that you think will benefit from it. And consider subscribing if you haven't yet because this channel exists for you. Thank you very much for spending time with me. I'll see you in our next video. Bye!